In the past, when Afghan uniformed police found an improvised explosive device, they would call in U.S. explosive ordnance disposal teams. Today, the U.S. is providing an alternate solution to this problem. What's significant about the training today is that I don't believe that uh, the Afghan Uniform Police and the National Army uh, train together very regularly. Uh, and I think uh, us being able to do that for them uh, will make them all more effective uh, on the battlefield. We work together with ANA. We've done two or three IEDs like two weeks ago. We detonated them in operation. These guys are very good guys and we are working together. The purpose of bringing Afghan forces into a training environment is to allow them to build a better working relationship and encourage more communication between forces. <laughs> After today, I think they'll continue to do it on their own. They've proved previously that they have the capability and the capacity to, uh, to work jointly uh, to accomplish missions and to defeat IEDs. I just think that what we did here today will help facilitate that and strengthen the partnership that they have. After the two teams finished the scenario, the U.S. offered each team feedback and helpful tips for future IED findings. You already cut the wires. I can't. You did good. It doesn't work. Thank you very much for everybody who provided this opportunity for AUP and ANA, and I'm looking forward to your cooperation, for your help in the future. If you guys can stay in touch, we're in the same direction. Thank you guys for coming, and uh, we hope you guys uh, learn something from the training. With this training, the Afghan Uniform Police and the Afghan National Army are another step closer to complete control of the country's security. From Camp Killer Guy, Afghanistan, I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Zach Lopez.